Life in the Middle Ages was tough. Famine and poverty were rife and people didn't live for very long. The quality of life would have been terrible. So naturally, in Foundation, the early access city builder sandbox by Polymorph Games that is set in the Middle Ages, people don't die, are immune to plagues, and they can all walk on water like they're Jesus. Foundation is a game about managing a village of seemingly immortal beings in a part of medieval Europe where there is no weather or disease, and the only real threat is that they might not be happy enough to live there. You will start with a small collection of villages and will build your settlement from the ground up, all the while not having to worry about invaders, disasters, or really anything else to be honest. The game is still in early access, and according to its Steam page it will be for another 6 months or so, with more fixes and features planned. But as it is at the moment, you'll be paying full price for a game that still has a lot more work to be put into it. So still being in alpha and also coming with a pretty hefty price tag, is Foundation worth buying yet? The very first impression I got of this game was when I'd installed it on Steam and was about to play before realising that there was only one achievement available, namely Survive Bad Weather Name. It was at this point I accepted that this game was going to be a little bit janky. The gameplay is rather idle, you don't really do any direct micromanagement, rather you set zones for production and resource collection and just assign villages to workstations as opposed to direct labour. Personally, I like this kind of gameplay, something I can play without having to whip my mouse around like a Korean StarCraft player and can take a bit more of a considered approach to. The goal is more or less the same as any other city builder, you'll build up your settlement's population, wealth and resources as you unlock new buildings to build and make sure your people don't get pissy and leave because you're a shit mayor. For a game that really toots its own horn about being gridless, I initially found it a weird choice to not let you actually place houses manually. You'll have to do it by setting a residential zone almost SimCity-esque. But in the end, I did find a way that the housing was built via zoning to feel a little more organic and also made you think more carefully about where you placed your amenities and workstations. The automatic building placement wasn't always perfect though and it did leave some unusable gaps in your village, which if you get OCD about this stuff like I do is a minor pain in the ass, but a pain in the ass nonetheless. For a game that's also set in the medieval age, it didn't feel particularly medieval. There was a lack of death, disease, poverty, famine, you know, all the fun stuff that they had back in those days. Your villagers don't seem to age and they don't die either. They don't start families and the way that your population increases is through the endless ways of exactly two people that wander into your town. There aren't even any seasons or weather events either. You don't have to worry about an oncoming winter and you don't need to be able to recover from a storm or drought, which really takes an edge away from the management side of the game. There are no real stakes to the gameplay other than making sure you don't overextend and that you build enough markets and churches. The game never really throws you a curveball and it makes the gameplay very linear. Each village you build will play out basically the same as the last. The only part of the game I found remotely challenging was managing your economy early on. After you unlock all of the production buildings, raking in cash was pretty easy. Once you've set yourself up and you're able to just build extra buildings as you need them, you don't really have to prepare for or worry about much else. Which is when the game starts to grow stale. The game's clearly still a bit of a broken mess. For one playthrough I started on a little island as the game gave me the option to. Shortly after I realised that nobody was actually joining my settlement. Turns out they just couldn't path to my village and were having a party on the edge of the map. And before you say, obviously they couldn't reach you, the water was in the way, then explain this. Checkmate, atheists. Villagers eventually just ran out of names and were simply just being numbered like this was some kind of communist dictatorship. They'd also often manage to get themselves stuck and eventually get pissed off enough to just erase themselves from existence. The only new thing that Foundation really brings to the table is its monument building mechanic. At the moment it's pretty bare bones and doesn't really offer a lot gameplay wise other than giving you extra mana points for whatever big ass building you build. I do like the customization, however and that you can deck out your markets or churches with different designs and different layouts. Perhaps a little more customization would have been nice but it was cool to be able to have this modularity in the hands of the player. The game has these weird, almost Europa Universalis 4 style pop-ups for quests or tasks that you can do that just give you mana to unlock a few new buildings that usually give you more mana or a few new resources to sell to your populace. 
The quest served as a decent tutorial for a build order in the early game, but after that they didn't serve much purpose other than being a slight annoyance that popped up every now and again. Another thing I did quite like about this game was its visuals. Well, for the most part anyway. The overall modelling and environment design was pretty good. Basic, but good. The devs have gone for an aesthetic that is achievable and that looks nice, and the game benefits from it. There did seem to be a bit of an issue with my villagers becoming Jesus when I assigned them to be fishermen, but I guess that was sort of the janky shit I expected from an early access game like this. The animations were pretty basic, and I think many of them were placeholders too, because I, uh... I don't think that's how you make bread. But the little touches like the grass and trees rustling and the blur added to the background of the camera view were really nice, and the overall design is consistent. It just needs a little bit more polish in some aspects. The music's also pretty good as well, and it was actually worked on by some of the composers who worked on the soundtracks for Europa Universalis 4 and Crusader Kings 2, so maybe this game does have more of a paradox influence than I thought. The UI isn't fantastic, and for some ungodly reason the UI of a village or a building won't automatically close when you click on another village or a building, leaving overlapping windows all over the place. Oh, that makes me mad. You can't press escape to bring up a menu screen or anything either, and some of the buttons and indicators are missing labels as well, which is just lazy to be perfectly honest. It's not super intuitive and there are still a fair few placeholder names hanging around in it as well. So hopefully that's something that gets cleaned up in the future. So is Foundation worth buying at the moment? Well, not really. Look, it's not a bad game, and if you like city builders and something you can have a bit of a sit back and relax while playing, it's a good start. But not a lot more than that. It lacks variety and excitement. I don't know, kill a few dozen of my villagers with a plague, or burn down my town hall with a fire. Something to keep it interesting, you know? What Foundation also lacks is something to set it apart. I mean, there's the monument building mechanic, and not much else. And even that is fairly basic at the moment. And I mean, this game isn't cheap either. After paying a little over $40 for it, I can't help but feel that I've overspent as it is at the moment. Maybe that'll change in the future as this game is still in alpha, but we're yet to see. While I think it's good that the developers are using a mod-friendly engine and are encouraging a lively modding scene for this game in the future, I don't want this game to be reliant on mods in order to be good. I'd rather the developers really put the time and effort in to build a solid foundation for this game, shitty pun intended. Something worthwhile playing in vanilla that an active modding scene will only enhance, rather than overshadow. The real problem with reviewing an early access game like this is that in 6 months time this review could be completely obsolete. Maybe everything I complained about has been fixed and the game isn't so janky anymore. If you're watching this in the future and what I just said is true, well shit. For those of you in the now however, I would probably not recommend buying this game for full price. Maybe on sale if you're interested, but as it stands there's just not a whole lot to the game and there are cheaper and more fleshed out alternatives on the market. I'm excited to see what this game will bring in the future, but for the moment, Foundation is a game that will probably sit in the wine cellar that is my Steam library for a little bit longer before I bust it back out and have another taste.